Before I met Caroline, special needs wasn't really in my vocabulary. And then I met Caroline and she helped me understand that people with special needs are still people and they should be treated with respect. Caroline was born with a part of a chromosome missing and she has a lot of physical problems from that. Caroline started in the Shoreshine program a few years ago. The value has been for her to be around other Jewish kids and to be with these kids who have something in common with her. It's important for students like Caroline to come to a Jewish school because in a Jewish school you learn about Jewish identity, you learn about traditions, and about our roots, our ancestors, which is important in a Jewish life to know where you come from. Je trouve que c'est bien que Caroline ait l'opportunité de venir dans des écoles juives pour qu'elle puisse apprendre l'hébreu et qu'elle soit entourée d'un milieu juif. Passer du temps avec Caroline m'a appris que pas tout le monde est pareil, pas tout le monde est parfait, mais nous sommes tous très importants dans cette grande famille. The best thing about UTT is that I had a lot of friends there that I still keep in touch with. Prior to the March of the Living, I had never gone to Israel. I had never stepped foot on Jewish land or been to any place around the world where the word Jew is a compliment. My family has lived in Montreal for four generations. I grew up here, my brother grew up here, my father and my grandfather all call Montreal their home. We're the future of this Jewish community and all other Jewish communities throughout the world. And it's important for us, if we want to move forward, to remember all the horrors of the past. I decided to go on the March of the Living because I had gone to a non-Jewish high school. And doing so, I wasn't exposed to all the elements of the Jewish community. What touched me most throughout my experience in Poland and then through Israel was the sense of community that we, myself and my other peers, had become, almost to the sense of becoming a family. And as we walked from camp to camp, I began to realize exactly what had been destroyed. The March of the Living gives us first-hand perspective it's our opportunity to pick the brain of those Holocaust survivors so we can truly understand what has happened in the past and we can pass it on to future generations who will not be so fortunate to have this experience of speaking to Holocaust survivors. La communauté, c'est comme une grande famille. Les uns aident les autres. Chacun doit avoir sa place et se sentir en sécurité. خرداش <laughs> My mom had uh, two forms of cancer. She had been very, very sick at home with us when we took her to the hospital by ambulance in the beginning of January. She had to stay for a month. We did not have a lot of money to begin with. And I came to see her one day and I said, Mom, I just don't know how much longer we can do this. I, I can't keep coming to see you and to take Joshua and Jonathan to bring them to see you because it just costs too much money. And we don't even have money for food now. I don't know what to do. And she says to me, why don't you call Jewish Family Services? They helped us in the past, and I called them, and they immediately started helping us. They gave us vouchers to pay for our groceries. 
My mom started to get a lot better. They were getting ready to send her home and she had a major allergic reaction to the chemo and caused her to go into respiratory arrest and on the following Monday, she passed away. People from the Jewish Family Services wanted to make sure, I think, that we didn't have some kind of breakdown and they said from now on we're going to be helping you as much as we can. One of the things uh, that they saw when they came here was Joshua was sleeping on the floor on an air mattress. We didn't have a bed for him. My brother's bed was broken and they were able to get us new beds. I look back on it now and how everything that I went through and I can honestly say that my mom's last gift to us right before she passed away was when she had told me to call the Jewish Family Services. And now we feel like we have a future. Now that we feel like, yeah, we are free, and we are independent, and we can, we're can we going to go on and have the lives that we uh, had always hoped for, that our mother would have wanted for us. It's like before we had nothing, and now it's like everything changed. It's like a miracle.